I've got a death story here, or I've got a, a, a another yeah. death story, or I have a bright and sunny story. Which would you like? Bright and sunny. Look at you. Funny parents raise happier kids. All right, give me the death story. Perhaps dad jokes are more powerful and important than we've realized all along. An exciting new study for parents concludes that humor could be the missing ingredients in the recipe for effective ch uh, child rearing. That's all I got for you. How do they measure who's a funny right. parent? How do you know, like, seriously, how? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, because it's subjective. Exactly. So and is somebody's looks. I gave you the story yesterday that people that are perceived to be more attractive live longer. I don't, you know, I mean, like, there's a lot of money that's like, attributed to stupid ass studies yes. these days. <laughs> Agreed. So just save your money, quit putting it towards these studies, and stop with the nonsense. He's so angry. Give us the death story. Like, I've been sitting in this chair for like four hours, and I'm just telling you, man. Why don't you like get I, up and do your stretches? I, I again. should. I, you, I know. You, I you should. need to open up your chest, do your doorway stretches. I know. And, I, know. It's, I have to. The and then your doorway is moving. Isn't it? It's not just that my back hurts. It's like I'm. Your chest. And I right? wore I wore my comfortable pants or my shorts today. Like they're really comfortable, and I'm still still feel like I've been riding a horse for nine hours. <laughs> riding a horse it's in your you, When's wait, the last time you rode a horse? I've never ridden a horse, ever. You've never? Uh, that's no. right. I think we've talked about yeah. this. I really want to do that. I ride want, a horse? Yeah, no, I want you to ride a horse. <laughs> I've ridden a horse before. I was going to say, you, you know what? How is that? Well, I really want us to do that. How is that us doing it? You want well, that would show. just be I, me I, doing it. I want a show outing where Waddle rides a horse. I want to see you Are run you across riding? the highway. Are I you mean, riding a like, horse too at this show outing? Sure. I, I like horseback riding. Really? I, I, I enjoy how, it. How many times have you done it? Uh, Once? Like, like in camp we used to do it. I did what it on my own. What camp do you get to horseback <laughs> Overnight riding? camp. You do. Yeah, well, I, I didn't go to what do you mean? horseback wait, wait. riding camp. You grew up in Skokie, not in Montana. I, first of all, in Skokie, I mean, Harms Woods, uh, there used to be a... Uh, there used to be a stable. That was a donkey you uh -huh. were riding. That wasn't a horse. No, golf and harms uh, in Skokie. It a goat. Yeah, it went goat right riding. In, there used to be a uh, there used to be a stable. So again, if you had to estimate how many times have you ridden a horse? Does it count when they walk around no, in the no, fair? No. I'd say five. But wait, wait, wait. Really? What if we allow it? Yeah, even all the times well, you walk around in a fair. Like where 15? have you where have you when you're bigging that, huh? When was the well, last? On my honeymoon. Uh, you were a That's what you I called it? In Lake Riding Lake. a horse? <laughs> but what are you doing? The pony. Rode the Where pony. Where you at? But that pony that. What do they call that? Ride the I pony. Where were you at? You know, I'm in Lake Geneva. They have a stable right by there at Grand Geneva. You know uh, sure. the stable there right by Grand Geneva? So what kind of horse know. was it? Was it a nice horse? We went, uh, like, uh, there's, a pad, there's a leader, and uh, all the horses follow, and they take you through the woods. There, is that leader? Is he a guide? Uh, is it, it a person or is it a leader horse? We, this wasn't this wasn't equestrian. We weren't jumping over things. Did you? Were you wearing chaps and a hat? Were you a cowboy? No, oh, I, I yeah, wasn't cowboy. wearing cowboy gear. I do want to. I want to ride a horse. And I, let's. You know what? We need to talk to Keith Williams. I feel like we yes, can get this yes. figured out. For we, us I think real years quick. ago we were trying to do this, but this was pre Keith. He yes. owns a horse. Yeah. He has horse connection. Yes, but those are equestrian horses. Those are All expensive the more horses. They don't want our dumb asses no, on them. No, and, but he, horse people know horse people. Yes. Yeah, I, that's words of wisdom. Horse people know horse people? Absolutely. Okay. That's Bye. fair. It makes sense. Americans are dying younger than their English-speaking peers worldwide. So of Absolutely. all the countries yeah, that speak, speak English... English they all live longer than we do. Well, why is that? Are we unhealthier with our foods? Do they eat healthier? You're the one that said that it? you've spent this summer putting piling on the pounds. I do, but sometimes there's more preservatives in our foods compared to their foods. Oftentimes, yes. Uh, research. Again, here we go with this expensive research. An associate. We should. You know what we should do is get our professor chips and then just have people give us money to do research. I have a good uh, solution. We should we should do a research project on research projects. I'm the best research projects that that world that, do. That's genius, right there. Right, like, I'm with here you. are the things that yes. need to be researched, yes. and the things that shouldn't be researched, 
because we're wasting money. Just when I, you know, what's the, the line from Dumb and just Dumber? Just when I think you can't get any dumber. I love you it. Go and That's do a great like idea. That. I just said and to totally redeem yourself. <laughs> yes. Quote me on two things in this segment. Uh, horse people know horse people. Yes. And we should do research projects on the best research projects. Boom. I think the show's over. I don't think I'm we can, leaving. I don't think I'm leaving early again. I don't, day in a row. I don't think that we can get any better than what you just described right there. Anyway, the research uh, led by Jessica Ho. That's her name. She's an associate professor at Penn State and examined life expectancy trends from 1990 to 2019 in the U.S., Canada, Ireland, the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand. The findings are stark. Americans consistently lag behind their anglophone counterparts with u.s women living an average of 81 and a half years and men just 76 and a half years as of 2019 in contrast australians are living up to four years longer for women and five years longer for men one of the main wow, drivers that's a, that's a big difference of why american longevity is so much shorter than in other high-income countries is our young people die at higher rates from largely preventable causes such like as, drug uh, drug overdoses, car accidents, and homicides. Listen, not everything is blue skies and sunshine in Waddle's world, okay? Every now and again, we got to delve into the darkness that exists and just educate you, ourselves. You've been doing that a lot. Yeah. So that's, you know, I just, again, I think let's start, you know, paying more attention to things and seeing if we can all live a little longer. That's smart advice. I think I just I, I trumped whatever you, it was nah, that you said. Not exactly. I said, "Boom!" I see that and raise you that. Jim, are I'll... we? Don't we have? Uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, Florida or Ohio, Tyler. We do. Yes, Can we I do. give you a comment really quick? Jim says, "No more horse horse riding at the station." Pal. Oh well, we've Let's already see. yeah we've we've exercised that demon already. If you Haven't never get we? back up on the horse, how are you going to know? Right? That's right. We're, we're never going to horse race. Yes, again. that's a better way of putting it. Yes, we're not going to ride retired thoroughbreds. Yeah, we're going to find a nice horse with a good personality. We're just going to have them trot with one. Yeah. All right, Florida, Ohio. Tyler, man stabs roommate over argument on who spent the most on fueling their car. Like so, they were like bragging who spent more money, and then well, that I spent more than you did, and that escalated into a. Don't into make a me stab, stab you. Don't stabbing? make me stab you. I will. So they shared the vehicle, and that is where the argument began. Oh, I see. They shared see. the vehicle, and there was an argument over who spent the most on the fuel for the shared vehicle, and who owed maybe uh, the other person money, something like that. Yeah, there's no detail in particular about that, but they got over the argument over who did, and then one of the guys grabbed a kitchen knife and stabbed the victim four times. A witness oh, then wow. had to grab and bear hug to stop the attack, and the witness drove the victim to a local hospital where he remains in stable condition. Mm. He that initially claimed he stabbed the victim in self-defense, but eventually yeah, right. confessed to the crime. Yeah, that's not good. Charged with attempted second degree murder. What do you think? I think this was uh, outside, like, uh, a, a, what are they called? Sunoco's? S U N O C O. Is that a gas station? Sunoco. Sunoco, Sunoco yes. Sunoco's? Sunoco's? <laughs> we, don't, we don't have them here, though, do we? So I wouldn't know how to pronounce them. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a Florida all gas we, station. All we have here are shale stations. Shell, BP. We have some Casey. Amoco. BP, Amoco. You mean Thorns. The, you mean the Bips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that uh, in Florida. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. I'll go with Vero Beach, Florida. A lot of very stabby part of Florida. <laughs> Is that is Vero Beach a very stabby? I think so. I'll go with uh, Tampa, Florida. Also very stabby. Right. stabby. Very stabby there, too. Clean, clean clean sweep of Florida, Tyler. All right. It took place in Davenport, Florida, just outside of Tampa. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We're getting so close, you get a complimentary stab right there in your abdomen. Wait, did, did this occur outside a uh, Seneca? No, it was uh, – well, there was a kitchen. 
Right, in the kitchen eventually, yeah, but it was, was the, the gas, kitchen. Yeah, the gas station. From, uh, no, it was a, a MoCo. It was I'm, a BP, a MoCo. That's what it was. 